Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see one more concept in compiler design that is introduction to parsers. So before going to the parsers introduction, so let us recollect the previous one. So we have seen so far the first phase of the compiler design that is a lexical analyzer. So which takes the source code as an input and which produces or which gives the sequence of tokens as an output. And also it will create a symbol table which consists of all the lexemes and the corresponding tokens information. And coming to this concept of parser, so this is also known as syntax analysis. So this is the second phase of uh, compiler design. So this parser is syntax analysis. So which is a second phase of our compiler, right? So the input for this second phase, the input will be the output of lexical analyzer. So what is the output of lexical analyzer? So a sequence of tokens. A sequence of tokens and what will be the output for this is nothing but a parse tree a parse tree so the syntax analyzer will be there or syntax analysis so which gives the tokens as an information and which will produce parse tree. And from where we'll be getting this one? So we'll be getting this one with from lexical analyzer. From lexical analyzer. So for this, we'll be giving the source code. Source code, right? And it will create a symbol table. So it will create a symbol table which will be also using by the syntax analysis. So, so it will request for another token. So it will retrieve a tokens one by one and it will generate a parse tree. Okay. So this process we also call this syntax analysis as a parsers. Okay, the syntax analysis is also known as a parser, the second phase of a compiler design. And it will also check the syntax, whether the keywords or identifiers were uh, written in a syntactic way, whether they are syntactically correct. If they are not, then the error will be raised. Okay, so this parsing can be generated in two ways. And the process, okay. So the generation of this process, okay, generating the parse tree is known as parsing, parsing, right? So this parsing can be implemented with a two ways, top down parsing and similarly bottom up parsing, okay, bottom up parsing. So whenever we call it as a tree, definitely there will be a root node from where the tree has been generated and the leaf nodes where the tree has been ended. That means further the node cannot be expanded. That we call it as a leaf node. For example, let us consider some nodes A, B, C, D, E. So the node from which or the, from where the tree has been started. So this is called as a root node. And see, D, E and C can't be expanded further, right? So these are the last nodes. So these we call it as a leaf nodes, leaf nodes. So whenever we are calling it as a tree, definitely there will be a root nodes and the leaf nodes. So coming to the top down approach, top down parsing, so the name itself indicates the parsing will start from the high level of the tree. So usually we can call it as a high level. 
right so the parsing will be started with the high level of the tree i'll write here right so top down so parsing starts from high level or root to leaf node root to leaf node so it will start from high level node to leaf node so in this process in this process it will follow the leftmost derivations leftmost derivations will be used and it should not contain any ambiguity in the grammar as well as the left recursions in the grammar for the top down okay so no ambiguity and left recursion so already you might be knowing about this ambiguity and left recursion for any grammar because we have covered the same thing in automata theory so if not don't worry in our further sessions we will we'll see one by one so how to remove the left recursion if it is available okay if it is not available then no need of doing anything so if uh, grammar contain the left recursion so how can we remove the left recursion so that we will see in our next session and coming to the bottom up the second category is a bottom up parsing in this bottom up parsing the parsing starts from leaf node to root leaf node to root okay and here obviously it will be having it will be using the rightmost derivation so in the top top down approach we are using the leftmost derivation so in order to create a tree but here we are using a rightmost derivation in order to create a tree so this will be the output of syntax analysis so syntax analysis output is a parse tree is parse tree so which will be giving as an input to the next phase that is a semantic analysis so the third phase so so far we have seen the first phase lexical analyzer now we are going to see the second phase what happens in the second phase so now we are uh, having the sequence of tokens after end of the first phase so with the help of this sequence of tokens how this sequence of tokens will be converted into the parse tree so that we'll see in our further sessions so that will happen in our second phase that is a syntax analysis as the name itself indicates it will also check the syntax whether the uh, tokens have been following the uh, registered syntax or not if not the errors will be raised right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any uh, queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much